I'm George, and in this Coral Fish Trilogy video, I'm going to tell you everything there is to know about copods and rotifers. Then I'll tell you how I use them with Ecomatter from Docker Ecosystems. So what are copods? It is not unusual at one time or another when keeping a saltwater aquarium to find tiny microscopic like white bugs swimming or crawling all over your tank. What you are most likely seeing are copods and or amphipods. These are shrimp-like crustaceans that dwell in the substrate as adults, but during their larval and juvenile stages are most often free swimming or up on the glass. So why use copods? That's a great question. Phytoplankton come first in the food chain, then directly after are copods and rotifers. The copods consume the phytoplankton, which help consume the nitrates and phosphates in your tank. The pods and rotifers get eaten by other fish and coral, but the ones that survive will be like detrivores cleaning in crevices of rocks, glass, and sand. They are especially good food for picky eaters like seahorses, uh, and I'm wearing my mandarin goby shirt that says got pods on the back just for this video because mandarin gobies love copods, and they are usually essential to keeping the goby. By adding pods on a monthly and in some cases weekly basis, you are putting in the tank the base of the food chain, which in turn adds stability to the tank. So, how do I personally use them? I ran into a company called Dr. Ecosystems at an aquarium convention and I decided to try their live foods. I now use their product Docs Ecomatter to give my reef aquarium the proper amount of copods and rotifers to sustain my water. Docs Ecomatter contains rotifers and four to five different kinds of copods that are all collected together in warm waters so they know how to coexist together. The bottle also contains some natural bacteria and ciliates. With the entire life cycle of gut-loaded copods and rotifers represented, Docs Ecomatter provides the building blocks for your ecosystem's food pyramid. These critters will populate, grow, and reproduce and nourish your ecosystem. It is quite common for hobbyists to buy live foods like this online. What I loved about Dr. Ecosystems, they send it in one to two days shipping since it is live food. It's labeled perishable and right side up. You know, it came right on time and everything was perfect for their shipping. I recommend you head over to the website. Uh, they're a very new company and from what I've been using, their products, their foods, and their live foods, man, they got good stuff. So go over to the website, link it in the description, and check out their stuff. To dose copods and rotifers in the eco matter, you wait till the lights are off in your tank and then you basically can just pour them into your tank everywhere or anywhere. Uh, you want to do it at night so that they have a chance to settle and hide and get into your rocks and your sand and your refugium before your fish eat them right away. What's up? So when you're not using these live foods like phytoplankton, copods, rotifers, you want to keep them in your refrigerator. Also, to keep the copods and rotifers from settling to the bottom of the bottle every day or every two days, you want to go in there and just shake the bottle so that the live foods can kind of get stirred up and get into the water column. All right, guys, I hope you learned pretty much everything there is to know for your reef aquarium about copods and rotifers. If you do not culture your own copods and rotifers, I highly recommend you buy Doc's Eco Matter from Dr. Ecosystems. There will be a link in the description to that and this awesome Mandarin Gobi shirt from Reefer Tees. The link to that website will also be in the description, so check that out. And don't forget, click that subscribe button. I have lots more informational videos coming out and other fun ones too. So you do not want to miss those. Uh, also, check out my Facebook page. That's starting to get hopping. And then also, like the video below. Uh, you have any questions at all, and I mean about anything, comment below. I answer to almost all my questions. Uh, so I will definitely try to get back to you. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Keep those nitrates low. George. Out.